and Nutrition Nugget from Marianne Smith at the Central Pennsylvania Food Bank. I'm the nutrition educator here, and we like to let people know about maybe some unusual fruits or vegetables that they might come into and show you how to use them. This is a spaghetti squash. It's hard, but delicious. It has a lot of nutrients that regular spaghetti wouldn't have in it. Plus, it's low in calories, low in carbs, and great for gluten-free diets. Well, how we're gonna cut it up is this. We're gonna first cut off the ends. Okay, now we have a nice even spot for it to rest on so it doesn't wiggle around. You wanna be real careful because these are really hard to cut through. Then you wanna take your knife and rock it back and forth, right down through the middle. Voila, fingers still intact. Then we wanna take the insides of this and just scoop it out. The seeds you could roast for later, a great snack, just like pumpkin seeds. And so you wanna just scrape out this inward flesh until you reach that hard spot, which is actually gonna be your spaghetti squash. Okay, so now they're ready to go into the oven. You wanna get a nice pan with maybe a little lip on it because we're gonna actually add about a half a cup of water to the pan to kind of help steam it in the oven. Then we're gonna place them face down onto the pan and then we're gonna cover with a nice sheet of foil, sealing the edges so that you can steam it. And voila, it's ready for the oven. So we're gonna start our oven at 400 degrees, let it preheat, and then we're going to put it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes it's until it is fork soft. So if you don't want to heat up your oven or if you're in a hurry, you can always do it in the microwave. Take your squash, place it face down in a pan, add about a half a cup of water, no need to cover, and we're just going to put it in for 12 minutes on high. and you're on your way to a nutritious, delicious meal. Okay, now that our spaghetti squash is fork soft, we can actually scrape it out and get ready to eat. What you wanna do is you wanna just scrape across it to get the longest grains you can. Look at that texture, just like spaghetti. And the best part, it's great for you and for all those gluten-free diets, it's perfect. Lots of people enjoy a little bit of olive oil and maybe a little bit of garlic on it or Parmesan cheese, or you can do a really zesty sauce because it does have kind of a mild flavor. Actually though, it's still really good, just like this. That's a nutrition nugget with Marianne.